All right, I do have my calculator, I'm delighted to say. Ooh, um, and uh, let's start by doing uh, mass of water. Our mass of water is going to be the mass 25.63 minus 24.70 for this first one anyway. Minus 24.70. I get 0 0.93, and that's gonna be grams as well, so I'll write that there. Um, now, here's the tricky part. Maybe it's tricky, maybe it's not. For this mass, it's the next milliliter, so you have to take this one minus the previous one. So 26.53 minus 25.63, which are pretty similar numbers. I get 0 0.9, but according to sig figs rules, if you take 26.53 and subtract 25.63, you do get 0 0.9, but according to significant figures rules, so your answer must have two decimal places, so you have to write 0 0.90 grams. And again, you don't have to write grams because it says grams there, but I did anyway. All right, so now let's do this one here. 27.44 minus 26.53, 0 0.91 grams. And that's the mass measurements. Now your densities are going to be mass divided by volume. Your volume is one milliliter. And that does have the proper number of significant figures. There are not many markings on that pipette. So this is going to have one significant figure. And you're going to actually be doing 0 0.93 here. D equals 0 0.93 grams divided by one milliliter. And you get 0 0.93 grams per milliliter. And uh, this is important because we are keeping track of significant figures exactly. So there's one sig fig in the denominator, there's two sig figs in the numerator, there's only one sig fig in your answer. You can either report your answer as 0 0.93 grams per milliliter with a line under the nine, or you can report your answer as 0 0.9 grams per milliliter with one significant figure. And again, you could put the units on the box over here in parentheses if you wanted but uh, I didn't this time. So what I want you to do is I want you to do the math for these two, and otherwise we've gone through all of uh, table one and uh, procedure part A together.